Last time on Just Roll With It, we went up against the house in the casino that we've been stuck in. And we managed to win. Uh, but not without me being turned blue and also into a ferret. With the house defeated though, we were finally able to set everybody free. And Corton was finally able to get that milk that he set out for 10 long years ago. He's off to find his family again, but we're off to find a new adventure. And whatever adventure we may find, <laughs> we're gonna have to just roll with it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just Roll With It. My name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM. My name is Bisley, and I play Chip. My name is Condi, and I play Jay. My Woo! name is Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gillian Tidestrider. I'm fucking pissed. And where we last left off. Ooh. The three of you, Straight Chip, it. Jay, and Gillian, return to the high seas after blowing up your boat, saving an island of endless laughter, and getting a new ship as a reward. You came upon a spire of gold, towering above the waters, traversing the sea like a ship, known to be the Blue Royale Casino. As your ship came close, the building extended its invitation, and you all eagerly accepted. Inside, you experienced an extravagant interior and many ways to test your luck. And speaking of luck, you watched a dragon born in a lavish pink suit on an unimaginably long winning streak in blackjack. The three of you met Clorton, and together, you indulged in the many money-making opportunities and entertainment activities. However, unfortunately, it seemed your luck was already spent. Leaving the blackjack table, the lot of you, excluding Gillian, became intoxicated on a magical lobster cocktail that drove you to stay in the casino and take risks, leading to a total loss of all of your money. This allowed those of you that <coughs> were under it to break free of the drink spell which did not go unnoticed. The spotlights turned on all of you, and in a theatrical display, you all fought against the casino's bodyguards who were attempting to restrain you. Once overcoming this encounter, you were all invited to take one final gamble by the casino's owner, a static silhouette that only appeared on screens, Mr. Dice. You took the <laughs> uncomfortably long elevator ride <laughs> I remember Filling the vividly, silence vividly. with inventing a pyramid scheme to the very top of the Blue Royale Casino's tower, which turned to be one, which turned out to be one large game of roulette, complete with an audience and an open roofed sky arena. During the <clears> game, <throat> you are able to choose high risk or low risk, with the consequences of losing being as high or as low. However, with Gillian and Chip entering one of the slots, you found that the game was rigged against you, and you were meant to lose and be killed for the show's finale. But Due to Clorton being a man of many briefcases, you were able to cheat the house and win one of the rounds. This turned the audience against and angered Mr. Dice, who in a fit of rage, extended robotic limbs from a massive dice-shaped form and began to fight you all. It was bizarre, very dangerous, and yet exciting, and ended with a bang as Clorton landed the final briefcase blow. With the end of Mr. Dice in this form, the casino's power shut off, and the spell on the customers, including the audience, was lifted. With the show over and the casino closed, you all headed back to your ships, realizing you'd been here much longer than it felt like. Clorton, specifically, having been here for nearly a decade. He told you <laughs> his only Clorton. goal was to get to the store and then get home, but forgot to bring his wallet and thus tried his luck at the casino. With the albatross, he pulled his rowboat to the nearest Sea Mart, a floating convenience store chain and helped get what he needed and back on his way. And that is where we pick back up. Guys, I don't remember any of that, but did you see his pink suit? Oh my oh God. Oh my God, God. his pink suit. suit. Oh man. Oh. Did you see that? You see how it was, the, it was pink? Dude, it was there a, was some other shit fucking it. happened. That was, that suit was I don't know who, pink. I, that suit was, was definitely that pink. Suit, I've never seen a pinker suit. I'll say that. I've never. Uh, most I, suits I that sure I've have, seen, but it doesn't matter. This pink. one was also pink. <laughs> this. Oh yeah. Very, I, very, very. Pink. And God, what else can I say about that? What else? What else about the? What? What else is memorable here? There's nothing. Wait. So Grizz, what the fuck happened again? So. I'll <laughs> uh, read the recap top, again. From yeah, the yeah, top, yeah. baby. No. Okay. Uh, here, here's here's what I remember. You guys met Clorton. He had a pink suit. 
<laughs> you then left. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Big Woo! suit! I think it was more of a dent up here, Solon. That's it? That's what? all you remember? That's all that's all there was, baby. <laughs> oh my no, god. No, it was it was awesome. It was awesome. So, I, really, I really liked it. You guys watch Clort and Roe is pimped out rowboat far into the distance. Oh god. And you hear old man Earl groan as he was knocked unconscious by one of the briefcases uh, yeah, that was thrown that. onto your oh, ship. Shit. As Clorton sailed away. <laughs> Are we right back here? Are we right in it? The Rose yep. Royce. That's what it was called. I was trying to remember. <laughs> the, the Rose form. Royce. The, the Rose Royce. Royce. Yep, that's what hey, I dubbed I check it. old man Earl's pulse. Is he dead? <laughs> old man. <laughs> Young man Earl, are you still, still kicking? <laughs> I used lay on hands for him for a couple points. Actually, wait, I don't have any of those left. I give him a couple slaps across the cheek and splash a little water in his face. You do that, and he, uh, you, uh, you hear the ch -ch 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 -ch, and you try to wake him up, and for a second he's silent, and then again he shivers and goes, Hurr! Everyone gather around, I... Let's all say a little something. No, it's, no, he's not it's gonna over. die. It's not, he's, he's not fine. gonna die. I used cure wounds on him. Would you Making like to be thrown wounds. over port or starboard? <laughs> I cure his wounds. I use cure wounds on Give him. Give him a beautiful burial. He will return to the ecosystem of Yo, the we sea. we can't kill him. Jake, get his other side. My uh, hip is broken. It's gonna be like 2,000 gold to fix it. Uh, 3 HP, 3 HP. <laughs> 2,000 gold? I look over my Or oh, like gold. a fall of my I gold. I start taking I start that. taking gold from no. them. You no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You need it. We, we don't have that much, you know, we don't have that much money, do we? Uh, hey, I wonder what's in, I wonder what's inside do. of this, this briefcase. I open up the briefcase. Oh shit. <laughs> Which one? The one that was thrown at Earl. <laughs> Strength check. <laughs> strength <laughs> strength <laughs> check? Why? Just just flat strength? Natural one. <laughs> Let's go! I don't even have to I don't even have to roll it, but I'm going to anyways, because I I wanna roll something. It's just a rock shaped like a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled it too! Ah! You go to grab the briefcase and you realize that old man Earl's clutching it with one of his hands and he's not well, letting wait, go. So we we tied technically because we, we both can, got two. We'll 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 sink him with his. We'll sink him with his treasure. It's only. This is my reward. My money. Hands off, bitch. I looked down. Uh, I what looked down fuck? at the briefcase. I looked down at the briefcase. Clorton. Clorton gave me. I want to open it up. If I'm strong enough. I need more money. I need money, or I'm not gonna live. I open yeah, up my briefcase okay. to I'm find starting, more money. I think that we do throw him off. I, I need I to find know, more that's... money in my briefcase Starboard. so we can save Wait. old man Earl's hip that somehow Wait. got broken by being hit in the head with a briefcase. <laughs> it's, this is starting to feel like an insurance scam. This man. Do, do, you, don't think got, do you think he's about to start a pyramid scheme? <laughs> Jay, roll, so. roll. Jay, roll an insight check. Good. <laughs> Sorry, my cup leaked all over my desk. Oh, I'm shit. Wet. It's uh, leaking. Six. Not doing too great today. That's an. That's. I mean, you have an inkling that old man Earl might be fibbing, but he also kind of does look like he looks like a really good. This is a really good display of acting. You know, I. I don't. I'm we need go. to save him. I'm opening up I'm, my briefcase. I need to find two thousand gold. Okay. I'm really tired. <laughs> So if I remember correctly, you guys all have four brief like you have four briefcases in total. The two that that Jay and Ship left with, the one that mm -hmm. Clorton gave Gillian, and the one that he threw at uh, yeah. Old Man Earl. I thought theirs were mm -hmm. full of money, and, and yeah, I, it was we, yeah. We filled it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's theirs was full of money. I'm just making sure that you guys have four briefcases in total. Oh, yes. for sure. Yeah, I think okay. we all kind of have one. Yeah. So, Gillian, you go to open up your briefcase, and yeah. inside. It seems to be this black void. So you open it up and it's just empty space, but there's no bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I stick my head in, I look around, I need to save Earl, dude, he's on a timer. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> is, this, is this your way of giving us a bag, a briefcase of holding? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Connie, shut up. I need to see what happens That's when you That's what I thought at first too, of... but I didn't want to just dive in <laughs> as much as I, I was like, I want to dive in. 
Yeah, so Gillian, you, you put your head inside of it and then immediately uh, realize that you cannot breathe. <laughs> but your head goes all the way inside of it and it feels like you could keep going, but you obviously, yeah, you can't breathe. It's the it's the clo it's the Clorton realm in there. There's nothing in there. I, I close up the briefcase. Clorton realm. It's the Clorton realm. What? Is he in there? I want to grab it. I want to put my head in it. Okay. Yeah. He puts his <laughs> he puts his head in. There. Okay. <laughs> I just, like I have a smile in, on my face when I put it on my head, and then when I lift it up, my hair is just like all <laughs> over the place, and I just have a look of just despair on my face. <laughs> just horror. Just Wait. It. Do you you turn Don't it upside down? down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he would to put his head in, right? Yeah, so as you flip the briefcase over and, and uh, open it up wide enough so that you can put your head in, as you're going to put your head in, this you feel like ding, ding, as something falls out of the uh, briefcase and hits you on the head, and it feels like this very dense metal object. And as it hits the ground, you guys see this uh, this metal okay. rod rolling on the on the ground of the ship. Um, does it that fall falls out of the old, old man or yes. will this... <laughs> will, will this do I well for your out. new hip? Okay. <laughs> I have three HP. Well, it wouldn't do three HP, but <laughs> it definitely hurts. Maybe like one point. One point. No, no, no. It just falls. Hole. It falls out of this this uh, endless space of uh, or 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 you pretty much would gather as you putting your head in it that it is an extra dimensional space. And when you turn it upside down, uh, the object that was inside of it falls out. I pick up Clorton's rod. Head. Okay. What, what, the, what the fuck? What is it? <laughs> it just looks like a um, metal, small, uh, like it's it's not like it's maybe shorter than a, a lo like a short sword. Uh, so only a bit a bit longer than the hilt of your own sword, uh, and it's just metal, kind of a hexagonal shape rod, and it has uh, uh, like a a a pressable top and a, on the top and bottom of it. Yeah, I swing it around. It's not not even that well balanced. You see, you, just, you basically just start batoning. <laughs> yeah, start batoning. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 I gotta, I'm gonna press the buttons. Obviously, at some point, I'm gonna press the buttons. Okay, so you're you're flipping the rod throughout your fingers and and sure. and up and down, and then when you catch it. You, you press one of the buttons, and then you try and throw it back up again, but the rod fixates in place. Oh, shit! <laughs> cool! All right, sick. <clears throat> okay. Old man Earl. Uh, you're uh, you're, 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 bite, on, bite on this. Uh, we're going to do... With, we're going to do... With interest, 5,000 gold! An emergency operation. Wait, 2,000 gold with interest, 5,000 gold! Gillian, Gillian, he's lying go? to you. Gillian, he's lying to you like No, no, he looks, he looks really sick. I think we've no, got to do the surgery right now. I can now. see the light! Wait, what? All right, here, here, Gil, pass me that sword. We're going to have to cut into his no, head. I, just, I'm too I don't. For this shit. I don't pass him the sword. <laughs> I'm too what, tired Gil, for this In bullshit. fact, I look at both of them, and then I just walk back down into the ship. Okay. Gil, Gil. The rod just spins in midair. <laughs> oh no, I, 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 I'm taking the rod, I'm taking the rod. I want the rod. Okay, yeah. uh, you go to click the other button on the bottom and then it, uh, yeah. it moves like normal once again. Oh, sorry, he left this. Right. Come on, Earl, get off. I'm gonna pick him up. <sighs> so how did it go? That was it a was good fine. try, you two. <laughs> what are you, what are you... We weren't gonna do surgery on him. Well, yeah, I mean, we don't even have the money for that. <laughs> I tried to scam them like you told me, Chip, but they weren't falling for it. You did good. You did good. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, it was great. I, we fought, uh, we fought a guy. Um, did a thing. <laughs> Saved the day. Were there any, you know, hotties? Wink, wink. He says the words. Yeah, there wink, was. Wink. She, uh, <laughs> she didn't turn out to be quite what I thought she was. Didn't Jay's get married again. She's going down. God, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh well. Uh, wish I could have gone in there. I walked up to the front. And they said there was an age limit. Really? Yeah, I don't know. There what were it a is. couple old people in there. What? You mean I got uh, bamboozled? I mean, no, no. They must have. It must have just been. They, I'm they glad have they went out us. of business. We must have. I like that they somehow like barred him from entering the casino that's supposed to trap people. Like, it's just something about that's just sad, man. Wait, why are you glad we're not a business? 
No, I'm saying I'm glad the casino ran out of business. It shut off. You oh, you're say? glad it went out of business. I thought you were saying you're glad we're not a business. Crummy Simply place. Arrow, we are a business. We're starting this thing. It's called a pyramid scheme. Nope. Essentially, you just try and get people to Been sell there, things done for that. You. And you Tried that yeah. a few times in my day. Never ends well. You make too many enemies, they come back for you. That's how I got the scar. And he pulls down his pants and he's got this oh large God. X X scar <laughs> on his no, ass. No, 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 no. In all ways, no, Earl. I promise that, you don't want to get do into your, that. Is that to your final two HP? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. I'm blind. I'm blind. Jay, Jay, hold me. Hold me, I'm, I'm, Jay. I'm downstairs in no, bed. No. I'm in bed. Where's Jay? Bye. Earl, hold me. Oh, no, don't hold me. <laughs> And I, I want to try and like walk my way to the ship, just <laughs> pretending to be blind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, you guys oh. are already on the ship, you know. You're just floating. Um. I I want to I want to well, I want to walk my way down to the barracks where that where those yep. two are. And I want to open the door. I just slam it open. I just saw Earl's ass. <laughs> and I never want to see anything again. Are you here? Hello? Some things are even fouler than Earl's ass, and I slam my door. <laughs> like what? I would say if you guys have, uh, have have built it in here to have like rooms for yourselves, it would be uh this the bottom deck here is just a square. I slam you guys the top have of my barrel that I sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was just gonna say oh, yeah, you guys yeah. could have I set up partitions. I forgot we don't have rooms. I forgot we don't have rooms. No, I slam I mean, my barrel. I would allow you guys to have set up partitions if you want. At least one for Jay, if that's like more comfortable. Or you can be in a barrel. I'll have a partition, but I'm also passed out at this point because I have two exhaustion. I have two points of exhaustion right now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't like that. So I'm guessing uh, you guys just want to long yeah. rest it up. Fair enough. I I, I, I dream of Pretzel winning the race. <laughs> yeah. That's what I, dream of. I play it back in my mind over and over again. Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> it's a it's a beautiful slow motion scene of you lifting up uh, a, a shining sparkling pretzel into the into the yes. sky and then catching uh, her and then you know she she flips around in her little. I look little down. Bowl. I, I I feel my I feel my cheek. I feel something damp. I think it's my natural moisture, but no. I'm sobbing, I'm crying. It's the moment we've all been waiting for, and then I wake up. <laughs> and you wake up, you guys have long rested. Uh, and it is it is morning time the next day. Um, you didn't, nobody put down, you know, the anchor, and Earl meant Earl obviously didn't either, so your ship just kind of coasts uh, along while we you're asleep. We don't know where we're going anyway, like, was, you know, whatever. Not that you um, need to, because while you guys, uh, Earl could tell that everyone was exhausted, and also was gone for a very long time. <laughs> about a few days does he uh, look older <laughs> <laughs> old man Earl every time you see him you swear to god he's older <laughs> he's got new wrinkles um, do we uh, recover the one level of exhaustion or no you guys were on a long rest I believe okay if we have food and drink do we have food and drink aboard this yes uh, you were given ship? food and drink as okay. when you left uh, off and left my barrel is drink and I assume that you would you know restock at the sea mart before you left yeah and with There's your amount of gold, it, it wasn't a dent. It's like maybe a few silver. Yeah, we uh we also have a ton of oranges, so. Mm -hmm. Let's go. No food. scurvy here. We're gonna get the opposite of scurvy. I'll say that counts as food here. We're gonna have so much vitamin C. Yeah. So uh, I mean, for the day here, uh, it's going to be you know if if there's anything you want to do during the day before nighttime comes. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to travel as you guys sail the ship. Totally up to you. There is something. Uh oh. <laughs> there is something I, wanna... I would like to do. Okay. Well, you say what yours is first. Well, I was probably I would probably just just hop out of bed, like, oh, oh man, I had a weird dream. Are are you guys in the barracks with me? Yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm brushing my teeth in our impromptu sink of salt water. <laughs> I am not. <sighs> Jay, I had this weird dream about a about a dragon guy, pink suit. It was so cool, <laughs> so dapper. No, that was that was real. That was that was yesterday. The casino. No, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, we killed a giant right. dice man. Hey, is shit. Yeah, we love. We didn't put down anchor. 
What? We just coasted through the night. Oh no, I want to run up to the to the top. <laughs> <laughs> at the t at the top of the stairs when you get up there, you see Gillian looking over the side of the ship. Just with his arms crossed. Okay, I'll go up. No, 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 no. And, and do I when I go up, what do I see? Like on the as for like surrounding area. The surrounding mm. area? Like yeah. just like for are we are we headed towards anything? Are we gonna crash? Are we just no. going to open no, sea? No, it's a it's it's open uh blue water sea, same as normal. The air is is humid and moist, warm. Sky is a bit cloudy, but not super overcast. <laughs> Can I have done something before Chip woke up? What would you like to do? I would like to have made an arena out of ice with shape water. <laughs> <laughs> so not only do you wake up and you look around to get a view of the horizon and things on the water to see if you're about to crash, you actually don't see anything except walls of ice. <laughs> oh God. Oh no, oh no, we're in a trap. Oh, they got us. And they got us good, Jay! There are no Get tricks. Get the stuff, we're bailing! There are no tricks here, Chip. Only me. Oh, did and you the truck us in? Of your actions. What? Come, I wish to confide in you, Chip. <laughs> oh, Guys, I got the that... stuff, and I just have two bags of money. No, it's just, it's just Gil, don't worry. He wants to have the talk. I want to go up and I want to be like, all right, Gil. So when a little guppy gets a little bit older. When I was a little grow... guppy, they told me humans were greedy, self-indulgent, <laughs> destructive creatures who live their lives recklessly at the expense of others. Yeah, sounds about right. But when I came here, I chose not to listen when I boarded your vessel when I was invited upon it by you and Jay. You took me aboard and I felt as if I could trust you. Uh -huh. But sometimes one must admit their hubris. And when you told me in that moment that a steel ball could have crashed down and swiftly ended both of our lives what you had did at first what? i did not understand hey, hang on hang on back up what what did i say just refresh quick refresh <laughs> chip you told me for once the truth. Oh. And though something like this may easily slip your mind, I know not. You admitted your deceptions for one second, and I began to think about the possibility that there have been others. And though I do not know, though I may not know ever what they were, I know that the elders spoke the truth, and what you did was reckless and self-indulgent at the expense of my honor and my pride. Gil, it wasn't... it was never... And for what? To... I mean, I, I never would have What you, did right? you it gain? Wasn't... What do you gain when you ask someone like Julian to lead first into the abyss? Well, that was different. I wasn't lying at that point. It was just... I mean, if anything, that was to protect you. You, Look, I, as far as I have seen, I have never seen you in a position you have put yourself in to protect anyone. But I have seen you put yourself in front of others not to protect but to use even for something as small as your own enjoyment. And I am telling you this, not to hurt you, but to let you know that you have 
damaged my honor and my pride, and I need it restored, Chip. Chip, you feel a cold, icy breeze. <laughs> that blows your hair to the sides. Gil, look, look, I, I, I was never trying to damage your honor. It was, it's, it's just a good-natured joke, man. There no was among nothing, friends? There was nothing good-natured about what you did, about lying to me, about demons, the things that I have devoted my life to slay, about lying to me, my representation, how I represent my people, has been skewed because I slapped dozens of bald men. <laughs> dozens, viciously, Chip. There is only one way to resolve this, as is tradition of the Undersea, and I, Gillian Tidestrider, champion of the deep, I challenge you to ritual combat in defense of my honor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gil, come on. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? You wanna, you wanna fight in ritual combat? I have no further words to explain, and if I did, I believe they would be tainted. Grant me this, Chip. Dude, you're, you're not serious. I look around at the fucking ice arena I have built. <laughs> you're, you're serious. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna fight you! Unlike you, Chip, I have laid my intentions bare. No, I'm, And if I'm you not, I'm want to prove you. to me that you are not a selfish creature, you will fight me. If not for you, then for me. Weird morning. No, Gil, no, I'm not gonna fight you. Why? You got weird traditions, man. No, why, why would I fight you? Okay, look, you're my friend. You're a part of my crew. Anytime I ever lied to you, if it was it was just a joke, okay? I know not if these words have oh. different meanings on the oversea, but where I am from, friends do not deceive friends. Friends do not take advantage of friends. I never lied to you and when their it was forced important. forced ignorance. I never lied to you when your life was at stake, okay? You 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 stand here and call me honorless. Then huh? prove you, me. You, then you prove me, me about wrong. Your, your then cultures? prove me wrong. <laughs> put down the sword. I'm not gonna put down the sword. <laughs> Draw your blade. Don your armor. Do whatever preparations it takes, Chip. In fact, do me this favor. Look up. No. Then you are exactly what the they fit? told me you were. Wait, the, the... Oh, shit. And what, I'm supposed to kill you? Are you using compelled duel at all? Not yet. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> not <Okay>. yet. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna kill you. You don't need to, but I need to kill the demons you have let sprout from these deeds that you caused me to commit. Out of my own ignorance, I admit, but this, it does not matter. Accept my challenge, Chip. If you are a friend. You really want to fight me after everything we've been through? Huh? You really want to stand here and tell me you're so much better than me after you destroy my ship, wrote me into everything I didn't want to be a part of? And just because I made a couple of jokes, and you want to fight I, me. You want to kill me, Gil. That's and what you want to do? I supposed after I had to know your back. That's the animal up here. No, don't no, 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 no. Gillian Tide Strider is done talking. Who taught okay, me that? it's Chip's turn. All right? I walked into those woods for you. I wouldn't have done it for anybody else. And now you want to fight me? Now you create a giant coliseum to fight me? I had your back. Always. 
Do you want to fight? Pull out my swords. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I look him in the oh eyes. I look God. him in the eyes. And I say thank you. Whoa. Let's fucking do it. I Roll initiative, walk up you the two. stairs. I walk up the stairs at this point. What the fuck? When you walk right. up the stairs, you get hit by a gust of icy wind, and it blows your hair back, Jay, as you see on the left side a a prepared and and shattered Gillian Tide Strider and a, an angry too. raging <laughs> chip. I rolled All right, a 14. yeah, that's that. Uh, it's an eight. Okay. I got an 8 too, but I'll go after Chip, just for the sake of... Well, I was gonna say that, um, yeah, for the purpose of this, uh, since you just got here, your initiative would go last no matter what. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's fair. Um, okay. Yeah, and I can't guarantee your safety if you intervene. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, I uh, am, I am gonna, it's my turn, I'm gonna go for an attack with my longsword. I'm pissed, dude! I'm fucking pissed! Hey, it's me, the mid-roll, uh... Pants. Now check out my mid-roll dance. I'm doing a funky dance right now. You just can't see it. Ooh. Hey, thank you for watching the show. Um, I I wasn't supposed to do the mid-roll and stuff today, so I I don't have any funny ideas, fun any funky funny ideas. But you know what idea I do have, and you know what idea you should have. You, you should, I'm gonna, I'm gonna implant this one into your brain. You should give us $5 on Patreon. What? No way. Crazy. You know what you get for $5 on Patreon? You know what you get? You know what you get? You get, five, you get $5 worth of content. That's right. $5 worth of content. A whole campaign. A whole campaign. Seven up, seven episodes out. Six episodes out. Seven episodes recorded. Seventh on the, on Wednesday. Don't miss out. That's a whole week's worth of content for five dollars. Think about it. And then and then you get high quality downloads of all the art we do for our show. Every thumbnail, you want that as a wallpaper? Boom, bam. Explosions and shit. We got we got high quality downloads for you. You can even see the character sheets of characters like Clorton who I haven't posted yet as a recording this mid-roll, but soon, maybe. Um, you know what you get for $10? You get you get our post-podcast, the one, the one where we talk about the show after the show. It's the show about the show after the show. You know what I'm saying? You, you're picking it up. What I'm, I know you, you got, you got basic listening comprehension. I, be, I don't think you'd be listening to this podcast otherwise. Oh boy. Okay. That's all I have for you. Goodbye. <laughs> That sucked. <laughs> Yo. All right, fuck eight. this. I Let's got a 13. Go. I'm going to use Favored by the Gods to add 2d4 to it. That's going to be a 19 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Divine Smite. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm serious about this. I, I am going to do 11 uh, slashing damage and mm. with uh, Divine Smite. It is going to add 2d8 radiant. So it's going to do 11 plus uh, six radiant damage. So 17. Next up, chip. Okay, where does that where does that put me? All right. You is guys this, are basically uh, you were you he, he you were facing each other on the opposite ends of this uh, this makeshift ice arena that was basically built on top of your ship as it moves. As soon as you drew um, your weapons, I took it as an acceptance. And uh, as soon as you, you came out, you screamed and you drew your, your two swords. He ba you Basically, it was a blur and a dash and Gillian immediately attacked you with, you know, glowing eyes and lightning surrounding his Dude, body Dude, I'm and genuinely pissed off at you right now. <laughs> like, I'm so fucking in it. <laughs> and as he as he rushes you and you get attacked, you feel the power of Gillian Tide Strider, but it doesn't make you scared. It makes you more angry. And you're <laughs> oh, <up>. God. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? It's your turn, motherfucker. With my, with, so do I get, like, blown back or anything? You just get attacked, uh, but there but there's no uh, knockback from these, these attacks, yeah. No tricks. Stand here and fight me now. Well, if that's what you want, and I wanna, I wanna go, and I wanna run in, and I wanna, I wanna slide and slash at his legs. Okay, roll to hit. Um, you know how this works. That's gonna be a 17 to hit. That doesn't. Um, hit. but I. That doesn't. What? 
AC's 18. <laughs> are you are you two weapon? Hand yeah. hand are you hand two weapon it? Like hand holding? Yeah. Two handed weapon. Are you doing that, Gillian? Are that are you still okay. using your shield? I have a shield. I have a long sword and a shield. Okay. I wanna to go to slash at his leg and then I wanna slash at his back with my with my offhand. Yeah, I, I step out of the way of the first slash. If you do not put your heart into this, it will mean nothing. You're distracted by emotions, and, and you haven't really been much of a, a a graceful fighter in your days, Chips, as you're all self-taught, and it is just completely distracting, the anger is. And it's causing you to miss both attacks, but you're still in it. All right. Is that, is that my turn? Next up is actually no, Jay. Jay. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm So here. Jay comes up on, on the I deck up. And, and, and is basically a, 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 a bystander. You just witnessed this uh, chip get... His, his, his blood basically splatters out uh, as Gillian attacks him. Okay, one second. I want to check something. In the background, you guys see are very distant. Look at all the Don't turn the AC on! <laughs> hey! Why is it so goddamn cold? I'm an arrow. That's weird. My AC is very high. <laughs> That's a good one. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm just like. I already see. Right. So I already see chips a little bit bloodied, right? Yeah. And uh, Gil yeah, I mean, is this pissed is a, off. Well, basically, so what you're witnessing is a is a, a fight of honor between two dudes. <laughs> do I I'm not even pissed, know that? But I also do look <laughs> slightly glad. No. Uh, you see an angry grin on Gillian's face. <laughs> okay. First things first. I'm gonna run in between them and put my arms up. Like, what the fuck is going on? Calm uh, down. I would assume well, that. Out of the way, Jay. No, I would assume what? that neither of you are allowing that. So, uh, I, at seeing that how Chip reacts, <laughs> I, I think, yes, Chip, finally you have the right idea. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm just saying that, that neither of you would uh, be willing to be separated by Jay. No. So, Jay, okay. you would have to basically uh, contest strength on, on both of them. Oh, my God. If you were <laughs> trying to push me back. Hold me back. I, I, st <laughs> I stare at my negative one strength. Yeah, well, wait, I'm... why are you fighting? What? What happened? I went downstairs for two minutes. I just heard Want to ask the fish? I stare at Gilly. None of this would have happened if it weren't for your actions, Chip. <laughs> oh, are these the consequences of your actions, Chip? Chip is redeeming his favor with me, Jay. God, do I even get into that? <laughs> well... Probably, I mean, no, because it's a favor. Yeah. Oh, if it's a favor, I mean. And also, you didn't. If you're not going to roll the strength checks against both of them, then you wouldn't separate them, and they would still be yeah, no. completely I just, uh, face to face. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be a, a passive observer for now, I guess. Good luck, Chip. <laughs> All right, Gillian, you're up. I'm gonna be pissed if he doesn't fucking do <laughs> a lot to me. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Um, all right, uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Thunderous Smite. Um, Gillian's eyes light up with this crackling energy. His hair glows as well and floats upwards. You see the coral on his head, uh, radiate. <laughs> and I am going to go for another strike, uh, with my longsword. This time on the backswing, I'm just gonna use, like, the butt of the blade and just try and hit him with it. Uh, that is, that is a nine to hit. <laughs> nope. Yeah. All right. Um, I miss, uh, and that is going to, that'll end my turn. That'll end my turn. <laughs> okay. So you want to, you want to go with the, with the butt end of the I go the, the butt of the blade. Yeah. All right. When you, when you go to do that, I want to slip underneath it and just kind of like bump you, like trip you forward. I should not be surprised by moves like this from you. You know, I pulled you out of that ocean to try and help you! And I want to slash at him. That's what I believed as well. That's a 21. That hits. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be... Five points of slashing damage. Uh, no, piercing. Okay. Then why? Why treat me like this? Treat you with what? Kindness? Trying to help you? Keeping you safe? I made a couple jokes, Gil! 
and I want to slash at him again. It's a 12, doesn't it? You destroyed my ship! You sunk my gold! How is making a couple of jokes worse than that? And huh? whose you actions think so led to that? What? Say it again. I didn't hear you. Just, I, I'm, I'm kind of mad. Just say it again. I don't fucking say it again. I'm going to go for an attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on. Unless Jay has something she wants to do. Yeah, so for, for my action and for every action must forth, I'm going to just prepare an action to intervene if it looks like somebody's about to fucking die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, All yeah, right. I will allow that you can do that. Uh, you'll basically, as soon as you see that someone's in danger, you'll have your reaction uh, to burst in and, and however you decide, mm -hmm. intervene. So after that, next up, Gilliam. Taking another swing, baby. Uh, swinging upwards again. Going for the longsword hit again. We're Brutal. Right close combat. Brutal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mind? Oh, my God. I got another nine. Oh, ah, shit. It doesn't hit. Does not hit. Miss. All right. In that let's case, go chips. In that case. Uh, let's see. What can I do? Fuck. All right. I bet money on, on the fish. 1,000 okay, gold. That's my turn. That's my turn. End to my be turn. fair, I do too, Arrow. Can I... um? run at Gil and go for like a, a a leap over his head and like a slash at his back and then go running up to the uh, the top, like the side of this arena and stand up there. Yeah, yeah, you That's don't have to I'm ask. You can, just, you can just do the, you can just okay. do that. All right. Uh, but you have to roll so for an attack. And after that, uh, it would be an acrobatics check. Okay. 24 hits, by the um, way. 24, yeah, 24 to hit. Um, that's gonna be uh, nine damage. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna running up. Pull, do I like, get? Do I get an opportunity my sword attack? Back. Or uh... well, I would. I wanted to go behind you so that it would be harder. Oh, if you attack me. If you're leaving my my range. Yeah, yeah I, it, it doesn't be. matter if you're behind him or in front of him. If you leave his attack range, he, he has an, an opportunity to attack as his reaction. But it's pretty cool because you pretty you vault over him and slash him, and then dart behind him. Mm -hmm. You will not weasel your way out of this. Okay, cool. Seventeen to hit uh, plus five twenty two. Okay, so that's gonna do uh, twelve damage plus the smite. I can finally crack open the thunderous smite. Is two d six because I've had that active. So it's gonna do another three thunder damage. So it does uh, 12 slashing and three thunder, so 15 total. That's chip looking. That With chip the looking. sound of crackling energy, you slice into Chip's back, returning the strike uh, and the scar. And uh, it- Do you it, remember this power chip? I used it against one before you, much balder. <laughs> okay, as he, as he does that, as I'm trying to run, I would probably just fall over to the ground uh, in front of me, look down and see see like some blood. Uh, yeah, you're 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 back now down. and uh, like going pouring down your shoulders and the size of your ribs is just uh, your own crimson liquid from your body. Uh, and you guys see that uh, Chip's initial movement to run up the the wall is basically st like stinted as uh, yeah. as he is struck. He's basically stricken down and falls. <sighs> All right, and at this point, with my turn not over, I'm on the ground with Gil standing over me. Um, I'll take my swords, drop them to the ground, move up to my knees, and look up at him. All right, what now, Gil? Gonna kill me? Go ahead! Are you forfeiting on me, Chip? Sure. I don't know. But I'm not doing this anymore. I will not accept a forfeit. I will accept a win or a loss. As tradition as it has always been. You know what, Gil? Fuck your traditions. You want to win it? And I want to, like, grab his hand and pull his sword up to my neck. Go ahead. You know this is not victory for me. You've cheated me before and you cheat me now. Do what you gotta do, Gil. 
Then pick up your swords and continue. I go to... Jay's gonna run up, up and kick the sword out of Gil's hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna do before that, Jim? I was gonna try and stand up, but I can't. I have three HP. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop him from standing up. I'm not gonna... I can't. I, I would just fall back to my knees. You can, you can see that I am very visibly defeated. So it's an attack roll contested by the target's strength. So you uh, would make your attack roll, attack roll uh, a, a weapon using another item or your hand. Whatever you're disarming me with, right? Yep. All right, I'll use a short sword because that gives me my best chance. Okay, I'll roll strength. <laughs> wow, I'm rolling awful today. <laughs> 11? I might roll worse. I might roll worse. I got a 10. I did roll worse. <laughs> oh my god, this never happens. What, is, what, is, what does Jay look like or, or say as she runs up? Uh, and swipes at, at Gillian's hand to try and so, knock yeah, the she sword. Like, she like, so she was up on the edge of the arena, like up where the slope was where Chip was trying to run. Um, she just kind of slides down, pulls out her sword and like swings upward towards towards Gil's sword and knocks it out. Enough! What is this accomplishing? You're just killing each other. My no God, one will Chip. no one will die today, but if something is to live, it must be the honor that was taken from me. Your honor? How is this honor? How is fighting your friend's honor, Gil? You can still call me a friend if you stand up. No. I don't want to call you a friend. Oh my god. I don't Chip, call you shut anything. the fuck up. Jesus. You are such a fucking bastard. You know that? And Gil, what if you're talking about your traditions? How far has that gone you, huh? Why are you up here then if your traditions have you done you so good, huh? You're both fucking stupid. <laughs> you're, you're accomplishing nothing. There's a giant arena on our ship because you want to fight each other. Why? <laughs> what are we doing? We've been together for a month and things are already in wrecks. We've lost one ship. We've. <laughs> Lost all our money, somehow gotten it back. Fucking we. This is stupid. This is dumb. Chip. Yeah, you're right. I'm have you ever thought about up. maybe, maybe instead of trying to defend your actions, maybe apologizing once? You know, you're kind of an asshole. Yeah, sure they're jokes, but Jay, they're not good jokes. All due respect, I didn't get much of an opportunity to apologize before Fish Did you even over try? Was trying to stab did, me. Did you even try? Tell me that, Chip. Did you even try to apologize to him once? It's not even your problem, Jay. <laughs> it is. We're a crew. We're supposed to be in this together, you know? No. A crew has loyalty. And what have None you done to here. earn our loyalty, Chip? Where Tell I'm from, answer loyalty me that. is built on trust. Are you, are you kidding? I stood by you. I didn't want to be there. On that island. After you destroyed my ship, I stood by you. <coughs> Chip, you know, it's not how even that, Gillian's how fault. How is that not enough? It's not even Gillian's fault our ship got destroyed, okay? Listen, Chip. you want honesty? I knew full well that those lemurs could shoot fire. I knew full well that they could have hopped onto the ship at any point and blown up the gunpowder we had on it. Which, why did we have the gunpowder anyways? I could have stopped it. I didn't because I thought it was funny, you know? I thought they were cute. I wanted to see them up close. And now I'm the old bastard. ship is... <laughs> you are. Have you seen the stuff you've done since we got on... <laughs> just to laugh a lot? Jay, it was just jokes. I don't... The jokes? <laughs> At what? At... <laughs> At what expense? You know, Gillian's not wrong. But Gillian, you're also not right. I never put you in any danger. Didn't you? When? Name one time! The bugs that we had to fight because- It was <laughs> bugs, Jay! It yeah. wasn't a sword at my fucking neck! <laughs> and who got you no, into that no. situation? This isn't a crew. I never should have picked you up in that ocean, Gil. Then I should've never stayed should've down taken there. your hand. My fucking Whatever. god. I wanna- Pull the swords and just leave, like pull off the chains and leave them. Get do off you, my shit. I don't want to walk away. Do you accept defeat? Sure. I want to walk down back to the barracks. 
Oh, this is a fucking mess. Well, Jay, it has been resolved. <laughs> has it? <laughs> has it oh, really go? How long sword. until it melts? Sheathe my sword. Who's winning? <laughs> I can't ship see has, shit over here. Chip has accepted defeat, and it will melt in. It's about actually 30. pretty cold where we are. Um, <laughs> 50 minutes, because it's only been like 10, maybe. <laughs> I, I feel like nothing has been resolved, Gil. <laughs> I actually feel like they're worse than ever. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Chip isn't a bad guy, okay? You know, he he's a bastard, sure, Gil. And, and he lied to you, and he shouldn't have done that, obviously. But <laughs> I think he has good intentions at the end of the day. I... That's what I want to believe, too, Jay. That's why I did this. That's why you stabbed him several times? I, I feel like this yes. could have been, been resolved in much better ways. Not for me. Not for who I am. He looked injured after our battle, and I do not know if there are any medical supplies aboard the ship. I shall go tend to him. I don't think he wants to see you right now. I'll handle it. I don't think he wants to see me right now either. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, I'm You're gonna walk just... downstairs. I'm gonna walk downstairs. Uh oh. <laughs> so, Gillian, before you 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 go to the the hatch to to walk. Yeah. To the bottom deck. Um. Before that, Chip, what what do you do as you as you left much much earlier, um, leaving them with the words of "Get would, off my ship." I want to go down to the to the bottom deck, and I, I just want to sit at my my cot, and I want to pull out the coin that I got from from Arlen when I was a boy, and just kind of look at it and say, "Never would have happened to you." As you're sitting uh, and twirling and flipping the coin on your, between your thumb and your index finger, you've been having a hard time, you know, remembering a lot of things and a lot of the good stuff from when you were a kid and on the ship, but you do remember a very specific memory in this moment. And it's you and Arlen, uh, you've just played a, a prank on <laughs> on um Dre Ugh. <laughs> and he uh he was uh, upset at first but he ended up uh coming around and it was a good uh, a good laugh for, for the entire crew because his hair was sticking straight up. You know, slipped some oil into the, the water that he uses to bathe. Um, and, you're, and you're sitting with, with Arlen. Just somewhere in the main deck. Uh, and laugh and he goes... <laughs> so you like pranks, huh? <laughs> You know, a good prank always ends with everyone involved laughing. If someone's upset, well, then it wasn't very good. And then he just kind of rubs your hair as you, uh, you, you hear the sounds of your, your, your boyish laughter. Saying, I can do that too. And then you're just still staring at the coin. And that's where we're going to end the episode. <laughs> oh, nice, wow. nice! Hey, what's up? It's me, Con Fiction again. And today, I'm going to be reading books from a library. Yep. Uh, for instance, we have this fine specimen right here. The Jazzy Bagpiper. It's about a man who, who wanted to be different and, and did bagpiping in his jazz band. Yeah, super, super crazy. 
Um, you know, the rhythm's all over the place. You know how jazz is. He's jazzing. <laughs> um, we got, we got Viridin, which sounds like a, a epic fantasy in which three men and a elf travel the world in search of a pumpkin pie recipe to rival their grandmothers. Cat Aesthetic. This is a drawing book. This is a coloring book. Uh, where you're coloring many, many different cats, many different poses. That's what you do with that one. Creepy Reaper. This is like, this is some Stephen King stuff. You know, it's like Pet Cemetery, except, uh, instead it's about a creepy reaper who's, who's reaping. It's not even like the reaper, necessarily. Like, you know, the, the, he, he's reaping what he sowed, and he sowed grass. Or, or maybe like we what do you sow typically they either way they sowed that and now he's reaping it but he's also really creepy oh this one's this one's good cake vape master 69 I'd like you to draw your own conclusions about what you might be reading about if you read this book I'm not gonna I'm not gonna paint in that picture for you <laughs> Kirby Wafro from hit Nintendo author Masahiro Sakurai uh, becomes, becomes Kirby and his quest to find Wafro, which is his funky way of pronouncing waffle. Uh, <laughs> Old Man Skeletal. This is like, this is like scary stories to tell in the dark, except it's like, you know, the framing device is this old man in a in a in a rocking chair who's telling these kids who don't get off his lawn to uh, about some stories about his lawn and why they shouldn't be here <laughs> king of ranch this is a battle royale book this is a book of it's like hunger games except it, it takes the hunger part of the hunger games very literally and it, it is testing who can survive Drinking the most ranch who can do it. It's the king of ranch tournaments Awesome and on don't read or acknowledge <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what happened there. that was weird Serene is actually a skeleton It's about a person named Serene and how they are actually a skeleton and how they are trying to hide that fact from everybody around them uh but but it but it, it doesn't go as planned and and funny kooky crazy stuff happens oh boy <laughs> indie mindy nine uh this is this is a book about the best the it's it's like the the 30 before 30 before 30 it's kind of like indie games but they're M Min mindy and there's nine of them i don't know what any of that means i am <laughs> I was not ready for this today. Um, <laughs> you know, you loon. You, you know, you know, you know, you, you know, you, you know, you loon. You know, you loon. It, it's just the struggles of a man trying to pronounce. You know, you loon. I think I actually got it. I think I'm doing. You know, you loon. Awesome. <laughs> oh, Gillian's biggest fan. This one is a fan fiction about Gillian. There's unspeakable things in here. We don't talk about that. You've heard of Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royale. But have you heard of Persona 5 Resha Snivy? Because I have. Their profile picture, Resha Snivy's, is, is it's Joker from Persona 5. And I just couldn't really come up with much more. <laughs> we got Cornier Comet here. Uh, Cornier Comet is a book about how uh, it, it's a very corny comet, like not literally corn, but it's like corny. Like it, 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 it's as it flies by the Earth, it drops some puns, maybe, you know, like that kind of thing. Pretty funny. <laughs> Jumpiest Venus thirty four. Uh, it's about Venus at the age, at the ripe age of thirty four, going to a jumping rope competition to prove all the doubters that they can jump. They can jump more and better than anybody else. They will be the jumpiest. Your gal pal Valerie V, uh, for some reason this this makes me think about 
the sisterhood of the traveling pants but instead it's the sisterhood of the traveling gal pal uh basically they they mail around uh valerie v <laughs> and 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 that's that's what's keeping their friendship together <laughs> what uh edgy moss Ooh, this one this one's either like an art book or or it's about a forest of moss that who's who who's sharp it's sharp it's bark hurts more than its bite or something i don't know what i'm doing right now <laughs> riker kurotu uh this is the story of riker kurotu a hero passed down by legends who once went and slayed felled 15 different dragons all in one single slash with his mighty sword and we got zigzag sugar a cookbook uh that shows you how to create funny funny creations with your food by zigzagging the sugar over top of it rather than putting it in a stupid lame straight line why would you ever do that nong's Lottle. uh this is a book about the last living axolotl um and and its trials and tribulations as it tries to find its place in the world <laughs> these suck <laughs> salutation well you know, you know what it is you know, you know what it is you know what it is oh that's a lot of ugarth in there jrwi enjoyer this is this is just a graphic novel of our campaign that's awesome divinator a story about someone who who divinates the future and seeks to to prevent it using magical powers <laughs> I'm I'm not made for this. I'm not made for this whole being creative and Jay Newell the man the myth the legend Born of the gods and yet his fate is that he must slay them oh, Okay, anyway, I'm done being cracked out of my mind. Hopefully you enjoyed whatever that was Thank you guys for being $50 patrons. It really means a lot. It helps us so much more than I can possibly explain in in this patreon read uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, uh, see you next time! Woo!